What's going on, guys? Antonio here. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up for me and let's get into it. All right. So I'm on DJ Academics page and apparently Hurricane Chris and a couple other people have had issues with 50 Cent after the success of his Humor and Harmony weekend, which took place in Shreveport, Louisiana. Hurricane Chris was actually born in Shreveport, but he's getting that 50 he says 50 did not have any uh, Louisiana legends there. Um, and, you know, to support, he brought all these people from all over the country and, uh, you know, booked all these artists and comedians and stuff. But he didn't he didn't show any love to the local people in Shreveport. And so hold on, let's actually listen to Hurricane Chris. How the fuck you supposed to be a nigga that's a part of hip hop? You throw a motherfucking concert in Louisiana and don't book no Louisiana legends and put no bankroll in no Louisiana legends pocket, but you pay the police a half a million dollars. What type of bitch ass shit is that? Nigga, you ain't fucking with my city, nigga. You taking advantage of my city, nigga, cause shit cheap and, and, and shit costs way less than it costs where you from. And y'all stupid slow motherfuckers so crazy that y'all gonna let this nigga come down here and die, not show no love to Louisiana. This nigga ain't book no Louisiana artists. This nigga ain't book Big Papa. This nigga ain't book B-Wheel. This nigga ain't book Hurricane. This nigga didn't even go to Baton Rouge and get no, no boosies or nothing, no weddings. Like, nigga didn't fuck with us. Nigga came to take advantage of us. Shreveport had cheap ass land he came and bought that shit and a nigga don't give a fuck about fucking with us and he just showed you that by paying the police a half a million dollars when we got young niggas out here starving when we got young niggas out here killing each other that fucking money could have went to anything that helped the motherfucking youth we don't need more money invested into the police nigga we need more motherfucking money invested into the community we need motherfuckers who know the community who know the people who willing to put their motherfucking feet on the ground to make a difference with their influence fuck your money nigga we don't care nothing about it Nigga, you think these white people ain't been had no motherfucking money in Louisiana, nigga? They using you to come through this motherfucker and to pay the city up. Nigga, they finna use you to rebuild the roads. They not finna use you to help the youth, nigga. Louisiana give a fuck about jail. Okay. So that that was Hurricane Chris. Hey, baby. And um one of the people that responded, um, was Fredo Bang. Fredo Bang was one of the artists that was booked. Fredo Bang, of course, is from Louisiana. And uh, so he's like, what do you mean ain't no Louisiana legend? Let's say Louisiana artists, Louisiana legends. Who the fuck I am there? Okay, I had to turn it out because he got music on it. But let's... 50 got because because there's a couple other people besides Hurricane Chris because Lu, Lunell says some stuff. Um, you see, like Rick Ross is trolling. Whatever 50 Cent uh, start getting some uh, wins, Rick Ross is trolling. But 50 been ignoring Rick. He, he was like, Rick trying to use him for clout. So he ain't really responding to none of the stuff that Rick said. But uh, let's go to 50's page and uh, see him, uh, one, respond to Hurricane Chris because Hurricane Chris left a comment on 50 cents page. And, uh, he also, I also want to address the situation and the criticism that Lou nail gave to 50 cent as well. So let's go there. Okay. So, okay. We're on 50 cents page. Now, one thing I did want to go before I get into 50's responses to hurricane Chris, um, hurricane Chris mentioned that 50 cent gave half a million dollars to the, uh, Shreveport police department. Um, he was doing that to offset the security costs when, you know, instead of having the city and the taxpayers foot the bill for having all those extra police there, 50 gave up a half a million dollars out of his own pocket to offset the cost of having the police presence there. And after the event concluded, you saw the mayor and the, the, the police department, they were in the press praising 50 for having one of the safest events they have ever seen in their area. And a lot of times if you go to hip hop shows, they are really, they really freak out about hip hop shows. I know I've gone to Bridgeport uh, arena in Nashville and I've seen hip hop artists there. I've seen uh, Jay Z 50 cent. I've seen R Kelly. And I know that when I go there to see a hip hop artist, the security is different from when I go to see, I went to see Red Hot Chili Peppers at Bridgestone and they just kind of wand you and let you go through. 
So it's different based on the type of artist they have booked. But 50, like I said, wanted to offset that cost. So he gave up half a million dollars out of his own pocket to make sure that the environment was safe for everybody. And like I said, over 30,000 people attended Humor and Harmony weekend. It was it was good. So here is the first thing when he saw Hurricane Qu Chris chime in. Right. And uh, this is from uh, Juice. I'm not going to play the audio because I don't want to get. Um, but he called him Hurricane Flex. And if you know this scene, this is Queen Latifah. And this is the comedian Flex who actually got in the comments here because he thought it was funny that 50 shared the clip. He was like, let's go. 50 said I was, it was really dope. Uh, uh, Queen Queen Latifah hated. But he he liked that 50 shared this. He's saying Hurricane Chris was Flex. And if you know this scene, Queen Latifah's character was like she was like the uh, booker at this club. Everybody's trying to get in and juice. And you see, uh, was it Omar Epps behind? He's about to get in. He's wanting to do his DJ thing. And uh, what Tupac played Bishop, the whole thing. But um, he said, he said, boy, your shit is whack. What the fuck you think you, you Fredo bang? Your shit gets no play in my ride. So, cause right now, like I said, um, Hurricane Qu the only song I know from Hurricane Qu Chris is A Bay Bay. And that was a big hit, right? So then, then he followed up with another clip from this is from uh uh minister society and if, if let me see can i let me let me actually play the audio here put that in for me you know that shit gets no play in this ride here put that in for me you know that shit gets okay so that's so he said oh no you're not gonna play that one song you got baby just went on stage with master p and mass that's another louisiana legend that was there master p was there on uh, at uh, Humor and Harmony weekend as well, but Hurricane Chris saw this, and this just first of all, there's Tony. This all happened within the last hour. So Tony Yayo, you see him, he he thinks that's funny, and uh, all right. So here's Hurricane Chris. Cops really don't know the streets, do they? Do they? Me and do they? Me and Boosie got a whole album as well. I got back to 2005. I got songs they react to way harder than A Bay Bay, bro. You not in the streets though, Curtis. And then here he goes again. Got a whole catalog. Ask the city, on street dude. I forgot you a police. Well, if he's police. Why are you upset that he didn't ask you to perform at his thing? That, I mean, I'm because I know Fitty always gets a lot of haters. I've done Fifty Cent videos, and there's always people uh, that that have hate for Fifty. But that's a legitimate question. You you just said you think Fifty the police. Why are you upset that he didn't book you on his show? If he police, right? I mean, is that a fair question? But hey, let's let's get it. But let's actually get let's get to Linnell because Linnell. Um, and maybe her criticism is legit. You know, L Lunell's a, uh, you know, a pretty funny comedian. Some of you remember her from Borat with uh, Sasha Barrett Cohen. She was hilarious in that, but she's been in so many other things. She was, and she was on uh, Power Book 2 Ghost. But she had some criticism because 50 booked a lot of comedians, but he, but she couldn't help but notice he didn't book no strong female comics. So this was her getting at him about not having that female presence there. But let's, let's actually, she was on comedy hype and let's see what she got to say here. To say that the game is still so misogynistic because I just heard about this um, comedy festival that my dear friend 50 is having like right now, and I haven't seen the paperwork. I don't know, but from what I have heard, there's not a. I was on I, people I know were on planes flying to where it's taking place, and there were several comedians on the plane, but not one female comic, not one. Now this may be mistaken. This is the information I've got, and and I and I love Fifty. I did Power book. Ghost Book 2. Uh, I know he's a comedy fan, but there are men and women in the audiences at these shows. So I think that fair representation only makes sense. Now, other people might argue that there's no females really generating heat right now. I know that I am because of the sellout crowds that I get. However, I was not asked to participate, number one. 
and I'm booked and busy anyway. I couldn't do Okay, so that's Lunell, and 50 responded to that. Proof you can't make everybody happy. I love Lunell's work. That's why I had, had them put her in Ghost. We saw her big ass was booked already, so we didn't reach out. You think I didn't want Monique, Samore, or Amy Schumer? They are on fire. What the F? Okay, so... He responded to that, but like I said, there's other people that saw the motion that Fitty's got right. Cause Fitty, Fitty is like he's resurging because he keeps teasing that he's back in the studio, might be about to finally drop another album. But um, you know, he he you know appeared in the Eminem video for what was it, the Houdini video and whatnot. He did the final lap tour. It ended up becoming the third highest grossing hip hop tour of all time. I know uh, Drake Drake's uh, what was it? The uh, what a time to be alive tour was number one. And then Kendrick Lamar, uh, Kendrick Lamar had the number two hip hop tour of all time. And then the final lap, lap tour, which I think they did 120 dates on that ended up uh, coming in number three hip hop tour of all time. So, and he just did that and completed it last year. So, 50 a lot of people were shot because there's a lot of big artists they were uh they were showing some uh club dates that rick ross had done and it wasn't quite full and uh so not not just him it was like little baby had to cancel some dates there's um there was some other artists that haven't been in the game as long as 50 and 50 been in the game over 20 years and he was able to go and have sold out shows, not just in the United States, but he went over to Europe. He went over to Dubai. He was in, he was in like Australia. He was in Africa. He was all over the place doing these shows. So a lot of people were getting at him going, Oh man, I thought he was done now. And it looked like he heating back up again. So, like I said, I don't think he has uh real he I think he's probably more disappointed uh that Lunell uh you know had that comment you know that commentary for him. But the Hurricane Chris thing, um he he probably gonna uh go back and forth with you know, because like I said, he done put two posts up on his page for Hurricane Chris already. So this might this might just be the beginning. Obviously, 50 Cent is going to be spending a lot of time in Shreveport now. As Hurricane Chris said, he bought that land. He's building Jew Unit Film and Television Studios there. He's kind of copying that Tyler Perry blueprint. He actually went to uh, Atlanta and spent the day with Tyler Perry, and they, they showed each other a lot of love. You know, he met with Drake talking about uh, doing some film and television projects with him, um, you know, so that, you know, he's got a lot of stuff going on out and and like I said, might might uh be back in the studio working on some new music, who knows. But like I said, I th I just thought that was interesting that it seems like a lot of people were they were hoping that the Humor and Harmony festival was going to fail. It obviously didn't and that caused some problems. And uh and not saying Lunell wanted to you know, you heard with Lunell. Lunell wasn't hating on 50. She was just surprised that he didn't book uh, some female comedians. And obviously she was one of them. But as as 50 said, and as she said, she was booked already. So she wouldn't have been able to perform anyway. But maybe she could have, uh, oh, you know, pointed him in the direction of some some solid female comics to come down. He's this isn't the last that we're going to see a humor and harmony. He's going to do this again. So he'll he'll do it again and then uh you know, I think, you know, he's like I said, he's got that G dome and all that stuff. So it sounds like he he wants to be able to uh create this kind of uh festival where he'll do this once a year and bring people out, but it the first one was a smash success and I tip my hat to 50 for that. Dave Chappelle, Cat Williams, Andrew Schultz, you know, there was so many, you know, R what um Keith Sweat and Master P and Michael Blackson. There was so many people. Earthquake that showed up there. Uh, I, what Bill Bellamy and you know, uh, what with Michael, what Michael Rainey and so many people, you know, from the power shows all came down and and uh, supported Fifty for the weekend. But like I said, what do you think? Do you think Hurricane Chris is out of pocket for calling Fifty a culture vulture? <laughs> <laughs> and what did you think about Lunell? Uh, is that a legitimate cri criticism from Lunell about him not having 
female comics because he didn't that that that's a legitimate i looked at the all the comics that he booked and it was uh he had women artists performing but he didn't have any female comics but uh like i said get in the comments we are so close to three thousand subs i need y'all want you facebook instagram i'm on x i'm on threads all at akari press type in akari press.com it will take you to my comic book brand way of the gun got the link to that and my gum road in the description thank you guys so much for watching i'm out